Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Musaleen wa ala Ali wa ashabi ajma'in um, My dear chair of the meeting and brother Khalid and my very respected or panelist and brothers and sisters who are listening from all parts of the world, world. I'm really overwhelmed by seeing the richness of the discussion, Alhamdulillah. I've been listening uh, from the very beginning, uh, apart from a little break in, the, in, in between. Alhamdulillah, everybody made a wonderful presentation. Jazakumullah khairan. And especially, I, I'm really glad to see uh, my dear brother, Professor Wakaruddin after a long time, brother Mahfuz, uh, brother Sultan Muhammad Zakaria, and and all other panelists, alhamdulillah. Uh, it was really my pleasure to hear from you. And in fact, lots of points we are supposed to cover today, you have covered, alhamdulillah. I had the opportunity to visit Myanmar, inside Myanmar. I, I had the opportunity to talk to the people and had the opportunity to do something through a very hard negotiation with the government and also had the opportunity to visit uh, Bangladesh sites as well, alhamdulillah, and saw the plight of our brothers and sisters, Rohingya brothers and sisters, is really inhuman, what already many of our co-panelists covered. You know. I'm conscious that today, um, among the audience, there are uh, Bengali-speaking audience, English-speaking audience, and um, Rohingya-speaking audience as well. So, uh, Alhamdulillah, my benefit is, yeah, I can speak Bangla, I can, I can speak Chantgaya, and English as well, Alhamdulillah. So, for the benefit of everybody, I'll try to, my, my presentation uh, in the slide, you'll see in English, of course, but I'll try to speak in Banglish, sometime Bangla, sometime English, sometime Sadgaya and Ara Rohingya Bible no Kul Begunza Ron to Legion, Tarada Salama Salam Alikum Rahmatullahi Wabarakat. So the long standing Rohingya crisis in Myanmar has generated massive human rights violation. It has become a major humanitarian disaster. Uh, my brother from Amnesty International actually highlighted on this. I'm not going to give much time on this. And it is not only an internal matter for Myanmar, as it has destabilized the regional tranquility of South and Southeast Asia and triggered a global outcry. outcry. Recent attack on democracy and heinous and brutal attack on much people, much people in Myanmar and Rohingya, it actually brought Rohingya crisis into a national crisis in Myanmar. What we are seeing in the last few days more than 40 people killed by Myanmar army, brutal army we are seeing. So it is no longer a local crisis. It has become a national and international crisis. At the start of 2018, a UN team found that Myanmar's sanction against the Rohingya amounted to genocide. We know that in late January of 2020, the International Court of Justice ordered Myanmar to take all necessary measures to prevent genocide act against the Rohingya. So this was a crucial breakthrough. Anybody from ICJ is virtually worthless unless the United Security Council enforces it. Unfortunately, Amra Dekchi, ICJ, International Criminal Court, a verdict diya che, kintu, a verdict kokonu kaje ashbena, Jodi eta security council eta pass na hoy eta implement korar jonno tara jodi podokkhep na 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 and again in november 2019 gambia on behalf of the 57 national organization of islamic cooperation filed the first international lawsuit yeah, against the myanmar at the international court of justice accusing the country of violating the un genocide convention and about this you know uh, my brother, Dr. Walker, Professor Walker actually covered this. I'm not going into this. And we know that it went to the Security Council, but unfortunately, 
some Security Council members, including Russia, China, have resisted and 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 put a increased pressure on Myanmar. Uh, resisted this year uh, the Security Council resolution to put pressure on the Myanmar government to stop this genocide. That Russia and China, a two countries, karone Security Council ICJ J verdict abong itar bittite Myanmar government rupor Rohingya jano gushti rupor ei je ei amanobik nirjaton chala chete bondho korar jonno je podokhe nawa sheta thara nite pareni. Abong itar por amra dekhi additionally a report commissioned by Secretary General of the United Nations in 2020 and 2018 to curb violence in Myanmar, but again uh, this uh, we, we see again it is failed attempt next slide please i think if we think here in between i'd like to uh, uh, say um, why china india russia usa these countries they are not interested to actually put pressure on myanmar government when i say put pressure it's effective pressure no not the cosmetic pressure there are lots of cosmetic pressure I, I, I mentioned some and I'll mention a few later, inshallah. But why they are not doing so? Yeah. Because in China, we know China is oppressing Muslim, uh, 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 our Uyghur Muslim brothers and sisters. So they have some commonality. China, Amadir Uyghur and Muslim, and the Kini Jatan Chala Chamba Dikchi. Among Asian Myanmar, among China, act a commonality. Tachara Tadishata arm trade at among natural resource utilized for a general that the need to shut it should the self interested karani among muslim muslim and their birth day that their common jd stibong jd stibong karani tara rohingya shumusha shumadan hook it anturik babitara china statement the opportunity to rajate chai kin to security council resolution pashkore rohingya government a need jaton bondo karajan no podak kem nawa ketre same India, because India has internal problem with Kashmiri Muslim, and we know very well Indian government's attitude toward the Muslim. And at the same time, uh, they had the same sort of actually distribungi that a China action. This is why they want to contain the policy against China, natural resource, arm, a trade, and countering insurgency and separatist movement in northeast india uh, for all this strategic region they tarak into china they don't want to resolve myanmar problem and resolve the oppression on muslim russia we know that they have internal problem with chechen muslim and again the common interest yeah and also they have armed trade and and they want to share the natural resources that's why they don't want to put pressure on myanmar they don't want to make them unhappy USA, again, post 9 11 Islamophobia is there, and they have, as a result, they have containment policy against the China as well. So that's why they don't want to actually put effective pressure. So this is just why this uh, two very powerful country don't, uh, don't want to actually. Uh, uh, introduce or make an effective resolution in Security Council. In December 2016, in again, we see this is some cosmetic attempt here. Yeah? President Barack Obama lifted sanction against Myanmar, saying it had made strides in improving human rights. Little bit of when Aung San Suu Kyi came to the power, Barack Obama said that, okay, human rights situation is improved here, yeah? they, they, they would draw the sanction. And this actually gave Although there was beautiful speeches, but this gave actually Myanmar army another opportunity to continue their oppression. A year earlier, under President Donald, uh, 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 Donald Trump, new US Senate uh, sorry, sanctions were imposed uh, and Myanmar general uh, for his uh, alleged role in the military's attack in Rakhine. Again, this sanction actually, it was not such that they have to uh, stop the operation. It was not a compelling sanction. 
And meanwhile, many countries, including the United Nations, Canada, Norway, South Korea, as well as uh, international donors have upped their humanitarian assistance ad advocacy groups, including Human Rights Wars, Amnesty International, the Arakan Project and Fortify Rights continue to appeal for international pressure on Myanmar's government, but this pressure remained pressure. It, it was not effective. For example, in November 2018, Amnesty International striped on San Suu Kyi of the Ambassador of Conscience Award it had conferred on her during her 15-year house arrest. Yeah. So although Amnesty International played a vital role and very strong role, but since international community, especially the superpowers, they are not actually doing something effective, it was not becoming effective. Next slide, please. Still, resentment of the military group, uh, minority group has run deep for gen generations uh, and the all history, especially Brother Mahfouz mentioned, the conflict is still active, we know, and the state is still in deep chaos. Subsequently, the, insurgent, uh, the insurgent Arakan army uh, began to manifest itself more prominently and from late 2018 until today, the state has been engulfed in violent conflict that analysts call the largest and consistent since independence. In 19 August 2020, when Commander-in-Chief, uh, Senior General Min Ong Heng spoke at the fourth session of the Union Peace Conference, he denied the cause of the frozen and active conflicts and suggested that seeking ethnic right is not only redundant, but also dangerous. So, despite the kichu kichu pressure, kichu kichu money sanction, ittadi shottu, amra dekhte pachi. Because it egulu kono effective chilo na, army general kintu prokashye ek international important conference bolle bedalo. It is necessary for all of us to avoid terms and feeling like ethnic rights and minority rights that can undermine trust and encourage disunity. In the name of unity, see, there are a minority right. There are both a minority right. A kotha thay amader bola uchitna. Ethnic right. A kotha thay bola amader uchitna. How? In the name of unity. In the name of inferiority complex. In the name of avoiding doubts. Yeah. So this again, why he is actually daring to so uh, say this or do so because he knows that all international pressures, they are not effective, while country like China and Russia, in, Russia is imposing their vetoes. So it is important to look at the situation of the Rohingya from the wider perspective of Myanmar's treatment of ethnic minorities. It is not just ethnic minorities, but we have to see the wider perspective of the wider perspective. While all are victims, there is no dispute that Rohingya have clearly suffered the brunt of violence and oppression, not only from the armies, but also from their ethnic groups, notably the Rakhine. It is the army that the Rohingya have been able to do this, but the Rakhine have been able to do this. It is not the government perspective that we have been able to do this, but the wider scale that we have been able to do this, especially the international community. Many in the international community continue to speak of the Rohingya crisis. While it is obvious that accountability for the uh, for the decades of neglect marginalized marginalization and oppression of the rohingya is urgently needed however a singular focus on the rohingya alone will not lead to long term solution yes amra dekhte pacchi international community bibhinno shomoy resolution pass korche statement dicche othoba kokhono kokhono aid dicche কখনো কখনো কসমেটিক প্রেসার দেওয়ার চেষ্টা করছে কিন্তু এগুলো কখনো কোনো কাজ হবে না যদি ইন্টারন্যাশনাল কমিউনিটি এটাকে একটা আইসোলেটেড প্রবলেম হিসেবে দেখে এখন আমরা দেখতে পাচ্ছি যে আসলে এখন প্রবলেমটা শুধু রোহিঙ্গা কমিউনিটির প্রবলেম না এখন এটা একটা বারমার অন্যতম একটা প্রবলেম হয়ে গেছে কেননা এই যে আর্মি এবং এই জনগোষ্ঠীটা একটা কমিউনিটির উপর সিস্টেমেটিক্যালি নির্যাতন চালিয়ে আসছে কিন্তু এটার বিরুদ্ধে কোনো ইফেক্টিভ পদক্ষেপ নেওয়া হয় নাই এটাকে প্রবলেমটাকে কার্পেটের নিচে একটু হাইড করে রাখার চেষ্টা করা হয়েছে যার কারণে যার কারণে 
আজকে এই প্রবলেমটা একটা ন্যাশনাল এবং ইন্টারন্যাশনাল প্রবলেমে পরিণত হয়েছে এই জন্য এটাকে হলিস্টিকলি ইন্টারন্যাশনাল কমিউনিটিকে দেখতে হবে আমরা জানি যে আই থিঙ্ক ইফ ইউ গো টু প্রিভিয়াস স্লাইড প্লিজ ইয়ার ইয়েস ইয়ার so the international community must also look at the crisis of rakhine state and even beyond that to the crisis of the state of myanmar so etake etake kintu ekta rakhine problem shei na dekhe amader amader ager boktara onekei bolechen je sarkarer moddhe ei jatir ek kono 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 ongsher moddhe je ekta mani ei etar bhitore ekta pandemic hoye ache ei pandemic ta kei address korte hobe international community ke next slide please So I'm not going there was a, a Rakhine Advisory Commission REC uh, chaired by Kofi Annan yeah in, from 2016 to 2017 they gave a they gave a beautiful road map yeah the international community need to give actually proper attention to that road map and then in the REC report now four years old has a complement in a new study freedom of movement in Rakhine state so I'm not going REC a road map ta আমরা বাস্তবায়ন করতে যাব তখন ফ্রিডম অফ মুভমেন্ট ইন রাখাইন স্টেট এই এইটার এই যে যে রিপোর্ট ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট যে রিপোর্টটা যেটা ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট রাখাইন ইনিশিয়েটিভ আইআরআই যে রিপোর্টটা দিয়েছে সেটার যে সমস্ত রিকমেন্ডেশন গুলো আছে সে রিকমেন্ডেশন গুলো একত্রিত করে টুগেদার ইন্টারন্যাশনাল কমিউনিটিকে এটা বাস্তবায়নের চেষ্টা করতে হবে হোয়াট আই এম সেইং ইন্টারন্যাশনাল কমিউনিটি মাস্ট মেক শিওর টু ইমপ্লিমেন্ট দ্য রোড ম্যাপ given uh, given by the rac uh, and, and, and 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 together with all other recommendations there are many other committees uh, which actually uh, our uh, professor walker mentioned all the positive recommendations effective recommendations we have to take initiative to implement those recommendations next slide please i'm uh, uh, avoiding this here yeah? next slide so international community must take those reports seriously and sincerely what i'm saying international community যত রিপোর্ট এই পর্যন্ত পাবলিশ হয়েছে রোহিঙ্গাদের অপারেশন বন্ধ করার জন্য সব রিপোর্ট গুলোকে সিরিয়াসলি এবং পজিটিভলি নিতে হবে ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট কমিশন অফ ইকুইটি স্টাবলিশ বাই দা মিয়ানমার গভর্নমেন্ট ইন জুলাই টু থাউজেন্ড এইটিন দিস ইজ এগেইন অ্যানাদার অ্যাটেম্প বাই দা মিয়ানমার গভর্নমেন্ট আমি আগে উল্লেখ করেছি মিয়ানমার জানতা কি কথা বলেছে এখন যেহেতু ইন্টারন্যাশনাল কমিউনিটির পক্ষ থেকে ইফেক্টিভ কোনো প্রেশার আসছে না এই যে র্যাক রিপোর্ট সহ অনেক ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট রিপোর্ট আসা সত্ত্বেও কিন্তু গভর্নমেন্ট এটাকে ধামা চাপা দেওয়ার জন্য নিজেরা একটা কমিটি করে হ্যাঁ এই যেটা আবার তারা কিছু তাদের জন্য তাদের নিজেদের সেফগার্ডের জন্য কিছু রিকমেন্ডেশন দিয়ে এগুলোকে দামা চাপা দেওয়ার চেষ্টা করছে দি স্যাড থিং ইজ দি স্যাড থিং ইজ when all the international uh, reports uh, including the report uh, published uh, and submitted by kofi annan uh, led commission some embassies some governments are instead of actually giving attention to those effective reports they are giving attention to icoe report that means myanmar government's report yeah. and that that help myanmar government to undermine all the pressure and all the report published by the uh, independent and neutral committees next slide please that is what uh, one analyst david scold uh, scott matison uh, concluded uh, in an asia times article he's saying the report beats to peddle a sense of official partial closure on what happened in rakhine state and that government may now return to normal this is a comment about this government report you know and sad thing ami jeta bolchi ei rokom ekta ei rokom ei rokom mani independent analyst er pokkho theke ei rokom comment thaka shottu kichu kichu government kichu kichu government aske ei report ke support korche kintu international je somosto report gulo operation bondho korar jonno je report gulo road map dewa hoyeche sei report gulor proti kono gurutto dicche na The international community must take lesson that a white and sea attitude cannot be an option in the face of highly questionable domestic investigation. UN fact, fact finding missions recommendations to the security council to impose an arm embargo and other sanction on Myanmar and top military officials must be implemented immediately. If you want solution, 
if you want to change the situation, UN must take, UN Security Council must take bold action. And then they must take initiative to implement the UN fact-finding missions recommendations to the Security Council. And at the same time, we must take effective measure to bring back refugees from different countries, including Bangladesh to their homeland, Arakan. And on, on that, I would like to echo what Professor Mahfuzur Rahman said. Yeah. So there is no other way. It says Bangladesh, Bangladesh is showing tremendous generosity. Bangladeshi people is showing tremendous generosity, generosity but it is not sustainable. Bangladesh take a show, Shara Dunia Jeshmus refugiate, Shay refugee derke, Niajawar Juno, International Committee, Kardjokor, Podeke, Grohon Kortah. A Jotudin Pujunta Hoini, Totudin, International Community, especially the donor agencies and all government, Tadeke, Tadeke moral duty at a Ruhinga refugee, Jakani at a second, Tadeke help Kora Juno, Aro, Shamne, Egiasta, Udar Babu. So if we can take these few um, actions, Tahole, Ambrashakuri, we can hope that Rohingya problem can be solved, inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tofik to understand the crisis and give our effective international community to understand the depth of the situation, depth of the crisis, and to take action against this crisis. And at the same time, I would like to request um, all the listeners uh, to act and to do our own uh, discharge our own responsibility and many other panelists including brother shamim and other panelists mentioned that we have as a muslim ummah we have as a, a global citizen we have some responsibility to stop this injustice i hope we will do our bit inshallah thank you very much for patient hearing and thank you very much for having me with you in this webinar assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh